is approaching, which means it's about to get cold. So me, being a very festive individual, I want to build a cozy log cabin in Minecraft Hardcore. So let's grab some food. Thank you. Some fireworks for fast transportation. And let's go build something cozy. Off we go. So in order to nail this build idea, I was in search of a snowy forest. Because what's a better cabin location than that? And side note, I also moved to a new apartment. So if things look a little bit different to you, that is why. Oh, baby, this looks perfect. Yes, yes, yes. Wait, why do I have no totem? Uh, well, I just got here, but I probably should go back and be safe and not lose the entire world. BRB. And now we're good to go. I'm looking for the perfect spot, which actually is right here. It's flat, it's snowy, it's perfect. Let's begin the terraforming, AKA chop down all the trees. I do love nature. I continue demolishing the earth, please subscribe and hit the bell. Please, I'm desperate. And a little bit later, we have a beautiful massive land fit for a cabin. And apparently, flaming skeletons. Everything I've ever asked for. So my plan for this thing isn't just to build some tiny little cabin. Rather, we're gonna make a gigantic cabin mansion. And of course, tons of other cool details around the area. But okay, first off, let's make ourselves a dirt outline. So I guess we'll start here and go this way and then turn it over here. Yes. Then turn it out this way and wrap it around here. And yep, that should work just fine for me. I like it. But okay, with the outline out of the way, we gotta go get ourselves some materials. And obviously for a cabin design, I'm thinking a whole lot of kinds of wood. So like spruce wood. A little bit of oak wood. All right, relax, relax. You're unloved. No one likes you. And of course, some of this lovely dark oak wood. Oh, I love that it's in groups of four. It makes it so easy to collect. Okay, so we have three kinds of wood, but I kind of want to get a fourth kind just for some extra texture. Because, you know, I'm like the pro here and I know what I'm talking about, right? Okay, what kind of wood can I mix in here? No, no, absolutely no. Huh, would mangrove wood look cool? I mean... It kind of looks like it fits. Like, ignore the red. Just, like, look at it for the log. That actually kind of fits in really well. I think I'm gonna take a risk and go for it. And if it looks terrible, I'll just blame you guys for listening to me. I'm terrible at building. Okay, so we're gonna go, let's say, dark oak logs on the side. And we're gonna strip them, because it looks better that way. And then here on the inside, we're gonna do a bunch of spruce wood, also stripped, because, once again, just looks superior. And every so often, I'll mix in some oak logs, not stripped, so it kind of blends in with the sprucey stuff. Yeah. I'm terrible at explaining things, but you see the vision. It's gonna look sick. Wait for it. Now we try the mangrove wood. Let's see if I'm a genius. Eee? I mean, I may be kind of biased, but that looks sick. This actually fits in like perfectly. Whoever thought of this is a genius and it's so amazing and handsome and all that fun stuff. Yeah. But yeah, let's take that design and keep doing it more and more. We want this cabin to be giant. Why are there so many zombies on me? I'm just trying to build a cozy cabin. I ain't trying to harm anybody. Well, okay, we have a what? I gotta call the exterminator, man. We have a wonderful foundation now. Like, look at this thing. We got a single decker building here, double decker building here. It's gonna be a May thing. Did I miscount the blocks here? One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Yeah, I did. Well, that's awkward. One second, please. A little longer than a few minutes later. And much better. But obviously, this is no cabin yet. It's just a giant wood wall. So I want to add in some cool details, like some windows and like a patio and stairs and all that fun jazz. But first, I gotta go get a lot more wood because this took a lot of wood math. Oh, I am curious. Up here on the iceberg, can I, like, see the mansion from here? Oh, that actually is gonna be a sick view. Oh, baby, I'm excited. Oh, I'm actually really close to my Christmas area. Oh, I love this place. I got all my festive builds. And most importantly, another portal. All right, we're in need of some wood, and that is exactly why I have a giant tree farm here for moments like today. Hello there, my boy. I've missed you. And the farm works very simple. I take a sapling, and I put sapling there, and I flick lever, and and TNT explodes, but nothing's happening. Oh, wait, I'm dumb. I need to keep placing down more saplings. I'm smart, I swear. No. 
And let's see what the haul is. Oh, baby. That's enough to feed a small family who eats wood for some reason. But unfortunately for us both, my tree farm does not allow me to get to mangrove wood. So we gotta go on a very small adventure to get some. And lucky for me, I have another highway to get to the swamp. Follow me this way. Aha. Uh -huh. Oh, hello. <laughs> surprise, surprise. But all right, the swamp is right over here. Now give me all this beautiful red wood and don't ask questions. And check. I'll catch you losers later. All right, let's make some details. That was a great tongue roll, by the way. Okay, first off, we're gonna make some windows. So we're gonna take a whole bunch of, let's say, spruce planks and turn these into stairs. And we break out these four blocks right here, put some stairs here and here, and we have a window, which means we need glass too. Un momento, por favor. Side note, why is there a beach in the middle of my forest? I don't know, but very convenient. Oh, I need a furnace too. I am so unprepared right now for all this. And as all that smelts up, we can also throw in some cool details like some stairs in the corners and some trap doors along the sides to make it look a little more structured. Perfect. And for my own little personal touch, a little mini garden right here in the window. Bada bing, bada boom. That's not, I wanted, I wanted the tall one. Um, Minecraft, can I not get the tall? I've been playing this game for over 10 years and this is new information to me. Wait, better idea. Come on, baby, where are you? Aha, I want berry bushes. Ow, ow, ow. And a boom, and a boom, and a boom, boom, boom. Yeah. Like, come on, how sick does that look? That's amazing. Now we simply spread our artwork far and wide, which is just a fancy way of saying do manual labor for a couple hours. BRB. All right, we got our windows, our little details here and there, and the whole thing is looking pretty sweet from above. I did, however, choose to not include gardens up here because I didn't think it would look weird, but I kind of wonder if I can add some other small details here, like some little sticking out logs with like a trap door on top or something, like that in its place. Okay. Yeah, I like it. But of course, now we're missing the most obvious part of the entire build, which is the roof. Okay, so this is gonna be a very interesting boy. We're gonna make a smaller roof here on this one decker building. So we're gonna go dark oak stairs here, then on the inside spruce. And let's see how this looks. Is this the middle? I think that's that's the middle, right? So I go there, okay. Not bad so far. I don't know why I built windows here. They're not even gonna be exposed. I'm not the brightest apple in the bunch or whatever. The, the saying is. Oh, uh, that was ironic. Okay, looking good. Now we're gonna die. <laughs> no, now we're gonna go to the double-decker roof up here and make the same kind of roof, but go the opposite way. So it'll go like this way kind of thing. And if done correctly, it should look amazing. Not the segue I planned, but I'm in a predicament. <laughs> Okay, there you have it. Looks amazing. Looks sick. I need to go get more totems and more food and not die. Okay, bye. But carrying on, I spent the rest of my night prettying up the roof with tons of added details, including a quick pit stop at the clay factory so I could make a brick chimney. Oh, I love this factory so much. My only fear is that I'm going to mine all the clay in here one day and have to move the factory somewhere else, but that is a problem for tomorrow, not today. But what is a problem for today is my health. I just want clay. That's all I want. It shouldn't be this difficult. I blame you. I'm going back. But in the end, everything came out really good. Well, all right, here we are. We got these little mini roofs I made, which look very interesting and cool. We got this big old chimney here in the back, which is definitely a unique shape, but I kind of like them. And most importantly, if we come around here to the front door, we actually have a roof now and well, tons of mobs in here too. But the point is it is secure and safe emphasis on safe. Now at this point in the video, you'd say, let's go make the inside of the cabin, but I have plans for something far greater. We are going to turn the entire surrounding area into an epic, amazing, mind-blowing campground. Come with me, we have much work to do. So the first thing we had to do was go get some campground inspiration, because I ain't ever been camping in my life. So I went on Google and began immersing myself in the culture. All I see is tents and trucks. But 
after taking my vitamins and actually using my brain for once, I had some pretty good ideas. Okay, so the first and most important thing on a campground is a campfire. So we're gonna need a campfire, obviously, which should be in here. We're gonna need some logs to sit on to roast our s'mores. Then just a few more blocks for some added detail. Let's do it. Wait, I probably need more food. How have I already gone through an entire stack of chicken today? Sorry, Broderick. Here, have a steak. I think he likes it. Okay, bye. Oh my gosh, this place is so scenic when you fly into it. Okay, campfire time. Let's put it right here. This looks good. Fire, check. Logs around the area. Annoying trees deforested. And a few minutes later, we now have the coziest campground in the entire forest. Well, the only one in the entire forest, but it looks pretty good. I like it. Now, thinking logically, if we're gonna have a campfire, we also need firewood. So I think we should make a lumber yard out here for all our giant tree needs. So, me being a professional builder, I know there are two main aspects to making a really good lumber yard. One being the actual wood because, you know, lumber kind of in the name. So just like some big piles like this. But two is the small little builder tricks to make the whole thing come to life. I'm looking for a mine shaft. It'll all make sense later. Oh, careful. Oh, hello, lush cave. Not what I had planned, but pretty cool. But is there a mine shaft down here? We need rails. Oh, hello. <laughs> oh, you're adorable. Aha, mine shaft. Just what the doctor ordered. Okay, rails, very important. Well, I probably should pick them up, shouldn't I? That would help. Now we can take our rails and tie up our wood like we're some big burly lumber why is this why is that so dark that's really weird well ignoring that it still looks really cool we also can throw in some slabs some trap doors and some unlit campfires then just make a whole bunch of them and the next thing you know you have an amazing lumber yard oh wait i forgot something what is happening okay ready stone cutters to look like saws to chop the wood dude what <laughs> What is going on right now? Don't die! Okay, you guys get the idea. It's sick. It's amazing. I need to go heal up now. Oh my gosh, so much near death today. I don't like this. Or do I? But carrying on, we had to think of some more campground ideas. So I built some tents with beds in them for the campers to sleep in, an absolutely amazing ice fishing pond for a food supply, and of course, pathways to connect the whole thing to the main cabin. I don't know why, but this combo of granite and coarse dirt just really tickles my brain in a good way. I love it. Wait, we're missing something. I don't think the cabin has running water or plumbing, so we need an outhouse. Okay, ready? We go item frame. We turn this leather helmet into a black helmet. Then we go boom and we turn it and outhouse. Absolutely amazing, just like your boy. Comparing yourself to an outhouse is a weird flex, but I'll take it. But before we carry on with the rest of this amazing build, I gotta go take care of something really important. Last episode, I said if the video got 10,000 likes, I would try and fly into the void. A dangerous proposition indeed. But unfortunately, you guys did not hit the like goal. Not. I mean, I'm still gonna do it anyways because it just sounds really fun. But next time you guys don't hit the like goal, there's gonna be consequences. Very harsh and rash consequences. Yeah, you better like the video, I'm telling you. But okay, it's void time. So this should be pretty simple. I just gotta take my elytra with fireworks and fly into the void and just try not to, you know, break my elytra and fall to my death. So yeah, let's go try it. What could possibly go wrong? So let's hop down here into my end portal. And here we are, the void. All right, we're good. We're good. Don't be nervous. Nervous, just jump down, fly, take some damage, and come back up. Okay, let's go. Let's do it. Ugh. All right, we're gliding. We're safe. We're okay. We're doing just fine. Imagine I just die instantly and I lose the world. That would really stink. Okay, we're getting low. I'm getting really afraid right now. Oh, 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 that was so fast. No, okay, okay, okay. Uh, it wasn't long enough. I gotta do it again. Like, will my totem pop or am I just gonna spontaneously combust down there? All right, let's go again. Careful, careful. Oh, oh, okay, no, 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 no. I give up. I'm a baby. Challenge over. I did it. You guys don't even deserve it. I don't care. We're good. Challenge complete. And that being said, if this video gets 10,000 likes, I'll do whatever the top comment says. So like the video. But carrying on, now that the outside was looking really complete, it was time to crack on to the interior of the cabin. First up on the agenda was to clean up the entire room by putting in some floors and doing a whole lot of mob proofing. I totally just realized I didn't fill in the side of the roof yet. I should probably do that. Then we simply started filling up the place with cabin themed accessories like a giant fireplace, a master bedroom, and an amazing kitchen. Aw, oh, you know, it'd be so funny. Have you guys ever seen those like bare 
rug things in log cabins? What if we made one of those with like Minecraft mob skulls and made like mob carpet rugs? It's gonna look so stupid, but let's do it. Okay, the question is, do I have any mob skulls to spare? Because that's kind of important for this. Please, 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 please. Oh wait, dragon head. Perfect. So essentially, we'll just take like some black carpet like this and we'll kind of make a little dragon body replica like this and then stick the head on the front. This is this is so stupid. <laughs> this is the dumbest thing ever, but we're so doing it because why not? But I also need more than just one mob head, so I'm gonna go steal some down here. Anyone remember this? My carnival where I shoot the dog in the water and he falls in the water. It's very self-explanatory. <laughs> but look, I'm winning. I'm winning all these prizes, so now I can take some of these because I won, right? That's definitely how it works. All right, come on. Get out. Get out. Get out. Go back to your place. Thank you. All right, here we go. Right in front of the fireplace. We got this Skeleton carpet. Oh my gosh. <laughs> a zombie carpet, which will be very colorful and elaborate like this. <laughs> the creeper carpet, which will be very simple, just like that. And last but not least, the big and grand ender dragon carpet that we already talked about. And the final product is... This is the worst idea in the history of Minecraft. <laughs> wait, wait, I can make it worse. What if we put them on the wall and give them antlers and now we have mounted mob heads in our cabin? I'm way too entertained by this right now. If you guys wanted to unsubscribe, I'd get it. I wouldn't judge you for it at all. But oh my gosh, this cabin is sick. Now at this point, the cabin was basically all done. So all I had to do was add in some final details to tie the whole thing together and bada bing, bada boom, the build was complete. Well, ladies and gentlemen, Gentlemen, that is it. Our cabin is officially complete, and it may be the coziest one in Minecraft hardcore history. Wait, where's my dragon carpet? Ah! Well, that was a bad idea. Be gone. Don't touch my cabin. Get back here. Ah! Okay, you can stay. It's fine. As a matter of fact, it's your cabin now. I'll be leaving. See ya. Make sure to like, subscribe, do all the good stuff, and I'll talk to you guys next time. So until then, goodbye.